Hi guys, Bar and PA Brew News. <sighs> Relax. Okay, got a new little toy for me to play with, or at least a little, little new thing to add to my vinyl player toy, which is the Cemetery Manor de la Morte de la More, uh, double gatefold vinyl. So I, uh, or gatefold vinyl, awesome gatefold. I believe it's only one vinyl. No, it's a, it's a two, two. Like, yeah, awesome artwork. Great movie, by the way. If you haven't seen Cemetery Man, made in 1993, I believe, check it out. One of the coolest dark comedy zombie, amazing nipples, uh, movie out there. So definitely go check it out. Anyway, what are we doing here? We got a beer review. Beer review by Hugh uh, Dogfish Head from Delaware. We all know Milton, Delaware, I believe. But we all know Dogfish Head, but this is their Pennsylvania Tuxedo. Look at that. That's the old time, the old timer uh, hunting outfits. Before they had to go, you know, you have to wear neon yellow or whatever and blah, blah, blah. But you can still buy these old hunting outfits in places. Can't wear them legally, sadly, unless you're doing a small game with a hat on or something, or turkey or something, I don't know. But you don't want to wear them with turkey because they'll see you. But nah. anyway, I just like watch. I love I love looking at the old, uh, finding old um, hunting magazines and stuff, and you get to see the people having these outfits on. So this was definitely awesome. Two really cool beers that are released was released right one after the other that to me are close to my heart. Well, the Pennsylvania Tuxedo. This is actually made with um, locally harvested in Pennsylvania or Pennsylvania harvested spruce tips. And it, it, it is a pale ale with Pennsylvania spruce tips added. And it comes in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. So this isn't exactly a pale ale. This is an imperial pale ale, apparently, I would have to add. An imperialized pale ale with uh, Pennsylvania spruce tips added. Because if you're coming in at 8.5%, you're beyond pale ale limits as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, Pennsylvania Tuxedo plays homage to the flannel-suited hunters and gatherers of, uh, who dwell deep in the back country of North Central Pennsylvania. Yeah. Anyway, brewed in collaboration with family-run outdoor clothing company Woolrich, Pennsylvania Tuxedo has notes that I'm not going to read because that's how I roll, son. Anyway, I want to, I kind of want to pop this up so you can see it, but I don't know if I'm going to, oh, look at that. Look at that. It works. Thank you, because my kid's juice box was there and it just works out perfectly well. Never clean your table because you can come, it comes in handy. Anywho, let's get into this imperialized pale ale with Pennsylvania spruce tips added from Dogfish Head Brewing Company. Beautiful streaming carbonation, amber, very amber caramel hue to this one. And it's got a almost slightly off white head, but it's pretty much sticking towards white. Nice soap sudsy head there, ringing around. Nice, sticking, nice little alcohol legs, protein sticking. I think in, the bubbles are actually riding the side of the glass as you play with it, which is really nice. Really beautiful look to this one. All right. No, and by the way, excuse me, why did I burp? Well, there's sausage in the thing. Oh, the other the other beer that I was gonna say from Dogfish has that was released recently was the beer for breakfast. The beer brewed with Scrapple. And I did that re-review already. It's not up yet, but that was another beautiful beer and Scrapple, oh, Pennsylvania, baby, I love it. Some people don't even know what it is. It's delicious, that's what it is. Anyway, here we go. Wow, you definitely get piney notes that, out of that one, but there's a lot of nice, beautiful, bright, grapefruity citrus characters. Caramel and earthiness kind of coming out of that. Yeah, a lot of nice caramel earthy tones, subtle soft pines kind of coming out from those spruce tips. Definitely get that kind of grassy, um, grassy herbal tones from those those citrus those uh, spruce tones coming out there too. But it has a lot of bright citrus, great fruity citrus coming out too. <sighs> yeah, it's a little bit of just that slightly herbal note coming in with all that pine and that big bold citrus and that caramel underneath it. Beautiful. Cheers. Mm. 
really easy, easy drinking. Super mellow. Mm. A lot of definitely subtle earthiness, kind of a little in the palate. Just pick a screen shot of that. Anyway, um, yeah, subtle, subtle earthiness is kind of going around the palate. Hints of those um, spruce coming out. It has a nice little hint of a floral character underneath that earthiness. I've made spruce tea, and it's not like it's not like pine that you get from um, hops, if you know what I mean, like that pineiness. This is like the subtle, earthy, floral character, herbal character that's kind of coming out, and you get hints of that, and it reminds me of when I make spruce tip tea, that kind of note. And the, the caramel is accents, accenting it subtly, because it's a very subtle beer overall, from, from what I can tell, but it's accenting it almost like a, it's giving that little bit of that kind of sticky sap character that's coming out mixing in with the the caramel and the the pot the spruce tips it's kind of giving it that kind of playful kind of pine sap character which is nice mm. Mm. nice there's a nice soft soft subtle bitterness too you get a little bit more of that citrus now in that bigger wall because I chugged the first bit of this. When you breathe in too, you breathe that kind of citrus note. And the more you take it, you get subtle citrus hits underneath that. This is not a bright, chaotic beer. It's more subtle and nuancey, but I do enjoy it. Um, I'm actually almost so sad they didn't use like wildflower honey because I always like to put wildflower honey in, the, in my in my uh, spruce tea and it always gives it that kind of really playful kind of hint. Oh. Mm. This beer is definitely something different. It's not your everyday beer. This is something I could drink every day though because it's so soft and nuancy. It has that lovely little bit of that sticky sappy kind of note in there with the caramel these hints of these soft herbal pine um, spruce tips kind of playing off in there playfully get playful notes of those sharp zesty notes from the or citrus notes from the hops but overall it's a very subtle beer very it's got an, a body to it it's got a very high body to it overall so that caramel it gets a chance to play play with all those different nuances that it has. Um, overall, I like it. It's not gonna be for everybody I know because a lot of people are gonna expect different things. But for me, I like this beer quite a bit. The 8.5 is completely hidden. This does drink like a pale ale. This does drink like a 4.5 pale ale, not 8.5 pale ale, if you know what I mean. So it is a dangerous beer. Comes in four packs for about $12.99, $11.99, somewhere in that, that area in Pennsylvania. Um, we'll finish this thing off because it's getting become a long review. Yeah. I like it a lot. The caramel, it just adds this kind of amber sap floral note to it just blending together with those those pine notes perfectly and everything that soft bitterness from the hops just makes everything playful super easy to drink I think those citrus notes they don't shine through like any like crazy ass you know, stone beers or IPAs or whatever but they just brighten the beer up just enough so it's not just like a dent like a like a really clawing Dark beer, if you know what I mean. The way the word dark I'm trying to use is that kind of like low key. What the hell's in my mouth? Can't get the taste out. It just it gives it that brightness. It, it, it cleanses your palate a little bit. It helps cleanse your palate of that of that that caramel and pine uh, spruce tips. That that zestiness kind of helps clean that up a little bit. Get you ready for the next sip. So I, I'm really liking this. I'm gonna give this one a solid nine out of ten because I really dig this, and I have to go to bed and pick up the girls in a few hours where I would drink all four of these right now and just 
you know what I mean. So <laughs> anyway, I like this quite a bit. This is my last one today. I'm gonna go go to bed. This is a nice way to end the night or the day rather. This has been Paul from Peter Brew News. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers.